Please sing with me. Thank you, Lord, for loving me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for loving me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for loving me. You went to Calvary, and there you died for me. Thank you, Lord, for loving me. You went to Calvary, and there you died for me. Thank you, Lord, for loving me. For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, so that everyone who believes in Him may not perish, but may have eternal life. You rose up from the grave, to me new life you gave. Thank you, Lord, for loving me. You rose up from the grave, to me new life you gave. Thank you, Lord, for loving me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for loving me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for loving me. You're coming back again, and we with you shall reign. Thank you, Lord for loving me you're coming back again and we with you shall reign thank you lord for loving me thank you jesus thank you jesus Thank you, Lord, for loving me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for loving me. Thank you, Jesus. For loving me. You shall love the Lord with your God, your neighbor as yourself. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew chapter 22 verses 34 to 40. At that time when the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they came together, and one of them, a lawyer, asked him a question to test him. Teacher, which is the great commandment in the law? And he said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the great and first commandment, and a second is like it. 
you shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments depend all the law and the prophets. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. In today's reflection, as human beings, there are certain things we cannot attain for ourselves. Salvation is more of what God will give us than what we can attain for ourselves. Our life, death, and salvation are all God's gift. Therefore, when life experience drug as to the depths of despair or even to the grave, God is capable of lifting us from there and restoring us back to life. Just as sin is described as consequences of our hardness of heart, God promises to revive us by giving us a new heart that is capable of obedience and genuine love for God. In gratitude of God's immeasurable love for us, we ought to pray that God may purify our heart and that He brings us to love Him as He deserves. Amen. This prayer made is faith will heal the sick, the Lord will restore them to health, and the sins they have committed will be forgiven. So then confess your sins to one another and pray for one another that you will be healed. The power of a good person as a powerful effect. Let us pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty Father, thank you for our life. Thank you also for faithfully looking after our needs and watching over us the past days. Father, we pray that you lead our mind and heart on the path of light, peace, strength, and hope. Please stay with us, Father, throughout this day. When we feel tired, lift us up. When we are worrying, remind us to trust your divine plan for us. When we feel unloved and alone, embrace us tight. Also, help us to be patient and accepting of our limitations and empower us that we will be able to quickly bounce back and begin anew every time we commit a mistake or fall. Father, Please change and transform us into the kind of person you will us to become peaceful, holy, calm, empowered, and purpose driving. For all of this, we pray in the mighty name of Jesus, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. One God, forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless everyone, and thank you. Happy Friday.